If it isn't obvious already, I like YouTube perhaps a little bit too much. I don't even watch TV anymore these days. I watch YouTube when I'm waking up, eating, taking a bath, jogging, when I'm doing nothing and when I'm doing something. Yeah, a little bit too much. So I wanna talk a little bit about my YouTube habit, I guess. My number one favorite video genre is animation story time. Mm, all time favorite. Why did I say all time favorite? Well, because my preference changes every time. At some point, I was obsessed with cooking channels like Mangchi, Laura's in the Kitchen, Cooking with Dog. I subscribe and binge watch their videos with stars in my eyes. And then like a month later, the obsession kinda died down. I got bored just a teeny bit. I stopped checking their latest upload and only check them out when I had the time. And I don't have the heart to unsubscribe because I still like them. I just need some distance, okay? Don't get me wrong, they are awesome chefs and great content creators. It's just me being a horrible subscriber. I'm sorry. Also, I rarely cook things that I watch. I watch cooking channels because, I don't know, watching professional chef cooking is very calming and satisfying for me. That's all. If what they're cooking is more complicated than an omelette, I'm not gonna do it. Is it weird that I kinda feel bad about it? If I came face to face with the YouTuber chef, it will probably be like this. Alright, cinnamon butter roll with a side of homemade herbal tea, all done. When you make it at home, please tweet me the photo and hashtag TJ Tunes, uh, uh, I mean TJ Cooks because I wanna see the result. What? You're, you're not gonna make it? But I spent weeks coming up with this original recipe and all you wanna do is watch me cook? Oh my god, you're wasting my time! <laughs> Who watches cooking channels but doesn't really actually cook? I also did this with traveling, vlogging, gaming channels. After I watch one thing for quite some time, I find another thing that I like and abandon the previous one. Can I still call them my favorite YouTubers even if I rarely watch their content anymore? Does anybody else do this? Being inconsistent? But recently, I got my second all-time favorite, Minecraft videos. My go-to Minecraft gameplay is the Hermitcraft community. I think a lot of you know about them. I've subscribed to almost all of the Hermits and have been following Hermitcraft for half a year now and I don't think I'll ever get tired of them. My favorites are Kaven135, Good Times with Scar, Grian, and Mambo Jumbo. They're so good at Minecraft and so much fun to watch, what can I say? I've played Minecraft before, however, I stopped playing it many years ago. But thanks to Hermitcraft, now I'm playing it again. I already forgot that Minecraft is seriously, seriously addicting. Seriously, I played it for two days non-stop and hurting my right wrist in the process. And at that time, my own YouTube video was still half done. So I take a break from playing it again because I don't want to lose my hand. Come to think of it, my all-time favorites share a similarity. They're not a live action, so to speak. Animation story times are, well, animated. Minecraft is a video game, it isn't exactly animation, but I guess you know what I wanna say. From the beginning, I'm not too fond with any show with real humans anyway. So that might be why I got tired quickly of YouTube videos that aren't animated. People say that too much of anything isn't good, and I agree. That's why I try my best to manage my YouTube habit. It's not like I lock myself in and watch YouTube videos all day. YouTube videos don't keep me in. Instead, they help me to unleash my hidden potentials. Of course, I watch them for entertainment for most of the time. But other than that, they introduce me to the big world out there. Places I didn't know exist that I want to visit someday. And inspiring me to try new things that I didn't know before. I'll never know about animation story time if it wasn't for YouTube. It's not a 100% perfect platform. But thanks to YouTube, my life can be more than just ordinary. And I can say that I'm happy to be a part of YouTube community.